Overall, if you were the defense attorney, would you not be arguing that, well, your medical examiner, the one who performed the autopsy, almost is kind of passing the buck to the pulmonologist, the forensic pathologist, and now a cardiologist today. And really, overall, do you think the jury's just going to say, oh, he was an independent witness, or are they going to say, like, well, maybe the state didn't have what they needed? Jamie? I think, you know, if you're on the jury and you're looking for reasonable doubt or you're, you know, truly, truly, you know, taking a close look at this case, this is something you have to consider. I mean, you know, you can't be objective and not suggest and not say that Dr. Baker did not provide some ammunition for the defense. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be mincing words, you know, is it contributing? Is it substantial? And I think the prosecution was very effective at drawing that line and, and redirect. Um, but to suggest the objective jurors are not going to look at this evidence carefully at this particular piece is, you know, I think uh, I, I think people are not being real about a juror's role if they think this is going to be discarded as just another witness. I mean, this is the guy that did the autopsy. And I think the argument that Mr. Nelson made in opening that he will clearly make in closing that there's only one reason that the state went out and paid for several other experts, and that's because of Dr. Baker.